Uh, end of the week, gang. Well, end of the week for us. Reggie, last weekend you drove to Sedona. Yep. Where are we heading this weekend, baby? Oh, I cannot wait. I am going to go to Air One. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and um, probably over to Eagle Rock at some point. So... A chilled weekend. There we go, yeah. What's your go-to in Air One? What's your go-to? You know, I like the beverages because I like trying new stuff. So I'm always trying to see what concoctions they're doing with matcha or... Kombucha. Yeah, kombucha, you know, booch. Oh, you call it booch. Well... I love that. That's, that should 100% become booch. a thing. And yeah, you booch. guys... Hey, I'm going to the fridge. Any of you guys want a booch? Booch, yeah, it's booching it up. It's, it's better than saying, any of you guys want to come? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, what? I don't kombucha. know if that's better. Say kombucha. <laughs> oh, right, I get you. Right, got it. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm back on. Back on course. Bucha. 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 We're just having a great time. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'm sure all the other late night shows... Who's got, Kimmel's got Obama tonight. So I imagine they're probably quite deep on the kombucha chat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Ian, plans for the old week... <laughs> We can't. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to be going to Whole Foods. Ah, Woo! OK. We and, okay. Then, uh, and then Eagle Rock at some point. OK. <laughs> right. Air One, Whole Foods. Don't ever let it be said we don't really penetrate middle America. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Liberal snowflakes? Come on. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention I'm going to a Bass Pro Shop as well. And I won't be wearing a mask when I go to Whole Foods. <laughs> no <way. laughs> No chance. <laughs> Let's talk about the news. Of course, President Trump is still trying to overturn the election through some sort of last-ditch courtroom miracle. This morning, he went to Twitter to say, important news conference today by lawyers on a very clear and viable path to victory. Pieces are very nicely falling into place. Now, I should say, the news conference featured Rudy Giuliani, so I think Trump is using the term lawyers very loosely. <laughs> Trump said the press conference would be held at the Republican National Committee's headquarters, the RNC. But not surprisingly, Giuliani accidentally booked it at Rico's Nuts and Confections off State Route 5 <laughs> between a vape shop and curves. Um, did anybody see the news conference? Did you, did, did you catch it? Well, Ru Giuliani, he started talking about how far away Republican observers were during the vote counting and then he veered off and just started talking about the movie My Cousin Vinny. Probably the closest they got is from here to the back of that room. We could do like a, uh, did you all watch My Cousin Vinny? Did, you know the movie? My, it's one of my favorite uh, law movies because he comes from Brooklyn. And uh, when the, the nice lady who said she saw, and then he, uh, he, he says to her, how many f fingers do I, how many fingers do I got up? And she says, uh, three. Well, she was too far away to see it was only two. These people were further away than my cousin Vinny was from the witness. They couldn't see a thing. Thanks, Rudy. <laughs> because everybody knows you can't explain the fact that when things are far away, they're hard to see without referencing the 1992 film My Cousin Vinny. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani is now trying to win the election for Trump by referencing plot points from 90s movies. Pretty soon he'll be like, there was this terrible case of voter fraud, a divorced dad voted for Joe Biden while dressed up like an old Scottish nanny. <laughs> no, sure, he misses his kids and all, but that doesn't change the fact that Trump won. <laughs> and she's like, oh, me, dear, no. <laughs> No, I voted for Biden, so I don't yes, No, I've got to get back to the kids. Well, you know what? When, when she got to the voting booth, she was like, hello! Yes. <laughs> oh, who do I mug for now? <laughs> Runs in the toilet, quickly gets changed, comes back out, she's still got the breasts on. Oh, would you look at these beauties? <laughs> What you're getting from this is me and Ian really love Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not all. At another point in the press conference, Rudy Giuliani's hair dye 
started to run down his face. Have a look. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, oh. Nevada, and Arizona. We more than double. This actually reminds me, I'm in charge of making gravy this Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Dying his hair at this point. Like, is that spray on brown hair making anybody out there think, wow, what's Rudy Giuliani now? What is he, 25, 26? <laughs> <laughs> Can we see the photo again? Look. <laughs> Always a good sign when your lawyer is sweating profusely. <laughs> Even his hair dye is like, guys, this is embarrassing. We need to get out of here. <laughs> This is the Trump campaign's whole approach to fighting election results. If at first you don't succeed, die and die again. <laughs> <laughs> and did you see this news story? This is exciting. Experts have revealed that a newly found sketch of Christ dates all the way back to the 16th century and is likely an unknown masterpiece by Leonardo da Vinci. Here it is here. Now, is it me, or are we starting to throw around the term masterpiece a little too casually? <laughs> you know, bring it up again. Do you look at that and go, masterpiece? <laughs> like, if I didn't know this would just be found, I'd be like, oh, it's a cool sweater. <laughs> look at the expression on his face. The sketch is actually called Christ watching a Rudy Giuliani press conference. <laughs> I got to be honest. I was shocked when I heard this. I was like, it was it was made by it was made by. <laughs> I got to. <laughs> Can you see where it's going? Yeah, man. <laughs> Just didn't want to get the wrong button, you know. Get the finger right in place, Tom. Um, for edit points, I'll reset. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I got to be honest. I, I was shocked when I heard this. I was like, it's by Leonardo da, da Vinci. <laughs> Sorry, Leonardo who? Da Vinci. <laughs> and we wanted to tell you about this. A man in Indonesia recently became an instant millionaire after a precious meteorite worth $2 million smashed through the roof of his home. Yeah, when asked what he was going to buy with the money, the man said, a new roof, probably. <laughs> a meteorite worth $2 million. Sounds like someone's got his Starbucks. <laughs> Here's the thing, how do you, when a rock falls through your roof, how do you even think to find out whether it's worth two million dollars? Do you know what I mean? You'd be like, what the hell? I should go and get this valued. <laughs> but this story proves that we've done it, guys. We've absolutely done it. We found the only person on planet Earth who's having a good 2020. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, did you guys see this? An airline in Taiwan has launched a new speed dating flight experience. 20 men and 20 women will get to mingle during a three hour flight that features romantic views and then they land right back where they started. They're calling it Fly. Love is in the air. <laughs> and so is COVID. <laughs> The matchmaking flights will take place on Christmas Day, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I mean, that is one way to let your date know that you really hate your family. <laughs> Obviously, they've taken all of the necessary safety precautions during the pandemic. All of the dates will, will actually take place outdoors. 